Good evening, everyone. Back up. Oh, Jesus Christ. Good evening, everyone. Back up, back up. How's it going? I have my tea with me. Also, every time I come into this room and sit here for more than five minutes, I my fingers get so cold and I'm so cold. So, mm, whatever. Uh, so today, we... I'm going to finish up that quest that I started yesterday. And start that other quest. And pretty much that's all I have, like, for sure planned. So we'll see how it goes. Let me just... Um... Put my face on the other side here. Yes, indeed. So hang on. I'm loading up Gamshin. Gemshin is getting loaded. Why are you freezing? Why is the game not gotten captured? There we go, Jesus. Uh, I had such a good salad. I also had the chips and a donut and pasta today, so... Not great overall. Not great. I'm trying my best. Uh, uh yes. So I logged into Genshin, I just converted some resin. But anyways, uh yeah. Wait until the next day. Alright, let me just go back to see me. I I believe there's like 20 minutes left of this one. 
Uh, I'm just gonna chill here. Oh, I still need to do all of that. Like, I think I've done the hat. But I haven't done all the fighting ones, I don't think. I have to do that too. Before I completely forget. Well, to be fair, I would have ca uh, caught up on it. Because it tells you here what you need to do still. Oh, the flying catter trick, okay. <coughs> no, I've done the metropole trick. Oh my god, he's so cute! Look, he's everywhere now. Alright, I haven't done the hat thing, apparently, then. Alright, let me put myself tomorrow at 8 o'clock, it says. I'm just glitching, don't worry about her. She's just doing her thing. <laughs> what a beautiful day, thought the traveler, before she was overcome by a creeping sense of foreboding. What? The voice in her head grew louder. Must go to Pendulum Lane. Well, I guess we're going to Pendulum Lane, but ever. Whether we want it or not, uh, I guess that is our quest for today. Hello. Hey, why are you guys? What's going on? Monsters broke into the ca- Yeah, I've beaten them. Yeah, thank you. I've already cleared them out though, so you don't have to worry about it. I thought that was like widespread news, but apparently not. Alright, where are we going? Something have happened. Pendulum the... Lane is just up ahead. Something must have happened here after all. Everyone's crowded around. Okay. What's up? Oh no. Oh my god, this is terrible. I don't understand. The three great clans of Constellation Metropole have finally made peace with each other. Who could have done this? Someone died? It's it's the annoying guy. Whatever his name is. What happened? Oh no. Someone's oh, that's Cape, yes. Cape! He won't be missed. How did this happen? Cape, you idiot! Wake up! You need to revise your last words or everyone's gonna start suspecting me! Last words? What did he say? M. If I wind up dead one day, the murderer was Boverano. Ugh, you could have at least pretended to not remember it. I'm sorry, Boverano, but this is an interrogation. I have to give the detective straight answers. So, why worry, is Boberano. he dead? I don't consider you a suspect, nor do I have the authority to charge anyone with a crime. So, who... so are you the last people to have had contact with him? Uh, yes, Mr. Sherlock. Listen, sincere condolences. You were travel companions, right? It's a real tragedy. I'm afraid he'll be out cold for another hour and a half, at least. What? Hey, what? He's not dead? Yeah, I know. It's despicable. Hitting someone in the back of the head is the second worst act of cruelty there is. The first being replacing their gear oil with extra strong glue. So, Cappy's not dead? I mean, uh, he gears, could metal be. metal frame and shell are all still in excellent condition. Just his uh, energy supply has been all messed up. Oh, thank you, detective, uh, at right. least. But surely you can't be suggesting that just because Cape isn't broken, there's no need to go looking for the culprit. No, no, there's a need, huge need. Uh, unfortunately, this is rapidly turning into a cold case. There's no evidence and no witnesses. Uh, unless there's an official clockwork pedestal, the goddess of prophecy around here somewhere. <clears throat> uh, excuse me. Then suddenly, the long-lost dragon of old flew across the sky. What? Where? Where? Uh, I didn't see anything. Wait, why can't I move? No, oh, my mistake. It was just a cloud. Or a bird. Or something. What the fuck? I could turn time backwards and replay the crime. Uh. Isn't that one of those uh, clockwork socket things right behind you? 
I thought that the goddesses ah, thing have so left it them. is. No wonder everyone here is suddenly struggling to move. Uh, traveler, if you please, let's uh, recreate the crime scene. Okay. Um. Every row, row. Oh, oh, oh. Too chaotic. I can't make heads or tails of it. Okay. That's Cape. Those are the two friend doors. That active is like right there doing something. No, let me put my face on the other side. I can't I can't figure it out. Something you wish to report? No. Oh. You have my undivided huh? attention. What the fuck? He just jumped and then fucking died? Okay, well that doesn't well, that help. Clears it up. Cape was walking along the street, then he suddenly collapsed. He was faking it. What? So case closed? Aren't you supposed to investigate a little more first? Well, we literally replayed the crime scene and saw it with our own eyes. There's no need for any evidence gathering or powers of deduction now. And besides, maybe the truth is inherently strange by nature. Like how Constellation Metropole has three histories, each of which is the truth. But didn't you say Cape was struck in the back of the head and knocked unconscious? For all I know, he could have bashed his head against the toilet bowl before leaving the house. Then walked here in a day. Well, you're not a very good passing. detective. As for why he might have done that, my guess is. Is. With the Supreme Clan question left unanswered and the tension in Constellation Metropole suddenly wiped away, he was looking to create a new source of conflict. Only then. Would the city feel alive again? Uh, do we really think he's capable of that, though? Sounds like a pretty complicated conspiracy for the average Simulanka resident. Yeah. Traveler, something about the crime scene isn't sitting right with me. It just seems unnatural. Yeah. Also, anything outside of the immediate area won't have appeared in the replay. Is it possible that something was missing from the scene? Why don't we search the area? Okay, Rara. Wait, what are you doing? Oh, we're... Uh, we're gonna head to Cape's house to check... It the was the detective! I'm calling it. It is somehow the detective. Hello there. Uh, have you seen my spear by any chance? No. Someone was shouting about a dragon a minute ago, and I instinctively threw it into the sky. Yeah. Uh, I. Uh... Oh. There's well. a spear here. It looks so mysterious. Let's take it. Okay. Well, here is your spear. Uh, can't I give it back? Uh, rah, rah, rah. Hey, you're, uh, you're not from these parts, are you? I'm not Just around. I, I don't, you don't like yep, my cars right. around here. Why? What's up? Ah, well, I was going to offer you a great job in the Titanium Mines. Uh, not a really. safe and secure working environment. Uh, doesn't sound very safe. Uh, at least not as safe as being a courier. To keep the titanium ore intact, we use specially designed pickaxes oh, that can't God. cut through it. Even if you struck a person with it, it wouldn't so much as leave a scratch. And in terms of labor intensity, the work has been rated as class two physical labor by a reputable organization. Even cats can do it. I'm not. Uh, never mind. I give up. Welcome to Paimon's world. 
Uh, Mind well. you, I don't know what happened today, but somehow a pickaxe has gone missing. Maybe one of the giant guards broke it down, so someone took it to perform a rapid resuscitation procedure. I guess that so. Sounds pretty brutal for a first aid technique. Still, a missing pickaxe. Huh. Is it just me, Traveler, or does it seem kind of suspicious? Not really. Well, I guess it has to do with something. I guess. Okay. Grocery store on the owner. What did you see, mister? Come here. Well, whatever it is you were looking to buy, please do come back tomorrow. It's just, I have to close early today. A bottle of growth serum has gone missing. If someone's stolen it with the intention of harming others, the consequences could be disastrous. What? There's a whole investigation into it, so I gotta close the shop while I do an inventory count. If it turns out I'm wrong and I miscounted, I could be charged with filing a false report and disturbing the peace. Mmm, interesting. Um... There's a strange potion bottle here. It looks so weird. Let's take it. Okay. We're almost there. Only one thing left to do. Okay, where am I? Look for objective in the area. Is it? Oh. Oh, here. Pickaxe? What is it doing all the way down here? There's gotta be a story behind it. Let's take it. All right. Well, um, I know the spear, but I don't know about the Let's others. Let's say one of these was the weapon used in the assault. Which one do you think it is? Um, the growth serum. If it was the growth serum. Cape would have been turned into a giant. I mean, they could vacuum oh, so in the head with it. Probably would have shattered when it hit him. Oh, yeah, that's they more legend. To bring on the ground. Let's say one of these was the weapon used in the assault. Which one do you think it is? I the, with it. I think it's the pickaxe because it can't harm others. If it was the pickaxe, Cape sure is lucky it's not still lodged in his head. <laughs> Actually, you're wrong there, Paimon. The foreman at the mine was just saying, this kind of pickaxe is designed not to damage titanium, so it couldn't cause any superficial damage to residents here. But That's what I was it thinking. Could probably knock someone out if you hit them hard enough, and it wouldn't leave a scratch. Let's take this back to the crime scene and replay it one more time. Okay. Ah, oh, you're back. How was the toilet at Cape's house? Toilet? What about it? Oh, oh, yeah, um forget that. Well, the pickaxe What's this about what are you trying to say? We thought the way Cape fell looked odd, so we searched the area for suspicious items and found this. It could have been deliberately placed out of range of the crime scene so it wouldn't show up when we replayed it. Now we've retrieved it, we were gonna replay it again. It's the you detective! Don't mind, do you? Oh, uh, I, I just remembered I forgot to turn off the clockwork switch in my kitchen. Yeah, I think I'll just, uh. Oh no, you stay right there! Uh. Oh, it wasn't the detective. I, I, I told you. We should be good now. Okay. He has the axe right there. What could the children be up to? Hm, never mind. What the fuck? Let them do as they please. And how did the pickaxe get out of there? So you're the attacker! Then why the fuck did you... What happened? Why, though? So, 
It was you! <laughs> Why, though? Uh, I would congratulate you for cracking the case, but since I did such an abysmal job of covering my tracks, didn't exactly have your work cut out for you. So, all I can say is... Is... Catch me if you can! Well, I guess the chase is off. We have a runner! That's it! Let me at him! The would-be Marquis of Carabas dispatched the Necromata Royals, who ran off in pursuit of the poor little minion. What do you mean, poor little minion? Okay. The minion's poor little lower back was protesting painfully against the intense physical activity. He decided to take the elevator, giving him a moment to catch his breath. I'm after you, little minion guy. Really? His lower back asked. But the minion had no other choice. He resolved to make the jump down. What? Hey! Can you not? By this point, the Necromata in boots was gasping for air. The minion was huffing and puffing even more loudly. But, uh, hey, all that. I'm not! Don't underestimate the gold level courier of the Comania Express! It's a chase! A characteristically catty response from the Necromata. Tell me, what do you hope to gain from bullying me? I get to let off some steam! I don't like the voice acting. Haha! <laughs> you fell into my trap! In fact, all the glue in this world is created by me using my narrator powers. I make it in the. Wait, 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 he is the narrator? Rats! Oh, I'm so jealous of you guys right now. You can just jump out of your shoes and keep running, but I. Wait, I'm wearing boots this time. The unnamed minion made a last ditch escape attempt. He began his long, cruel, long, long crime, climb. Sorry. Up the wall. The, the tall... The tall wall. He began okay. his long climb up the tall wall. Can you call that a tall wall? In urgent Neko parcel mode, I'll scale it in no time. Oh, God. There's nowhere to run. <sighs> I'm beat. I surrender. All right. So why did you try and, and kill the poor dude? You at least got nowhere left to run. All right, I confess. That was fast. Getting caught by you here was a backup plan. I don't know if what I've done will make things better or not. Time to come clean. <sighs> I am the narrator. Why are the one who's been guiding you all this time? Uh, gasped, shock. My mind is You're blown. You're overdoing it a little bit there. Anyway, I only did what I did because... Why are you suddenly spilling the beans? I poured my heart and soul into all this. I was worried you wouldn't ask. The truth is, I was one of the first conscious beings ever made by the goddess of creation. And I've known for a long time that this whole world is just a fairy tale written by the goddess of fate. Okay. I know they say that fairy tales are just made up for kids to read. But I refuse to believe that fairy tales are just fictional stories and nothing more. The reason why Constellation I mean, we are Metropole in the world. has three origin stories is that the goddess of fate wrote three drafts and couldn't decide which one she liked best. Makes sense. Then her cat trod all over them and they all got crumpled together. So the three worlds just sort of folded into one. The goddess of fate was torn between them anyway, since she couldn't decide which ending was best for the dragon or the kids. So when she saw what the cat had done, she simply decided to go with all three. Who'd have thought? Okay. But what does any of this have to do with what you did? Yeah, You're exactly. You're a fictional character, so you couldn't hope to understand my sorrow. Honestly, I don't think there's anyone in all of Simulanka who would understand. Every day that I experience, every interaction I have with another person, 
Is it really all just a work of fiction? Wow, strangely, a bear. The three great clans wanted to find out the truth was for the pointless task of electing the supreme clan. I thought that once they'd learned the truth, it might make them curious enough to investigate further. But as it turned out, they just accepted it and carried on living the same old lives. I have to motivate them to keep looking for answers now that they think they've learned the truth. I have to make them uncomfortable with the superficial explanation that they took at face value. And I have to figure out, once and for all, while you real people from the outside world are still here, are we real? Oh. Um. That's my full confession. Time for you to take me back. I'm guessing I'll probably be forced to make a public apology, then sentenced to half a day in solitary confinement. I guess so. I definitely deserve half a day. Oh, also, pass this message on to Cape Boberano and Albizzi, if you could. The Great Clockwork Key was originally put in place jointly by the ancestors of the three clans. Oh, that's if the nice. three of them had any ability to cooperate whatsoever, they'd have been able to remove it by themselves. Over all these years, not once have they ever tried removing it together. Oh, my poor child. There's one thing you've been mistaken about this whole time. Oh! Ah! Whose voice is that? D detective w Was that you? <laughs> Your voice acting detective, 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 detective pretty, pretty good! good. The reason fairy tales are suitable for children is that they help them to understand the world. Fairy tales may be works of fiction, but at their heart lies an internal logic that is undoubtedly real-world truth in a condensed form. Okay. Perhaps they simplify good and evil, and perhaps they hide the darkness in metaphors. But let there be no doubt. The world within fairy tales is as real as can be. And by extension, you and your compatriots are also real. Compatriots! Goddess. Is it really you? The line that separates footnotes from narrative can it never be crossed. Th Never the two shall meet. Oh, the this though. is why you have never heard my voice before. But now you wish to break free from the story. Hey. And there's a cat nearby, so you can hear my echo. Someone named... Someone named Nellis. Oh, wow. That is, a. Uh... That is pretty, pretty freakish, honestly. Just your echo. Hey, by the way, hi Kingscar, how's it going? Welcome, welcome. Oh, poor detective. So I've become the fifth descendant. We are a part of the real world too. You lead the surrendered detective back to Carpe. Did he did he come back to life? So we need a, a show of crime scene for evidence, a mockshot of the suspect for the records. What of the heroes for prosperity? The ground milled over. Three foot. Three photos is overkill. Let's just get one big group photo at the crime scene. Suspect, try to look a bit more serious. Heroes, more natural peace. Happy smiles, but no smiling from the victim or their friends and family. Thank you. No, no, no. Don't get up. Stay on the ground. We need to capture the crime scene as it is. Three, two, one. Say cheese. Nice. <laughs> the weirdest photo experience of my life. <laughs> my head's spinning. Albizzi just gave me a quick rundown of the situation. So you caught the detective? Yeah. Sorta. We chased him until he surrendered. Oh, and he asked us to pass on a message. You tell the story about the rest of what happened. And they could have removed the great lock work, work if they worked together. Does he really think we didn't try that? Because we did. After six months in that place. Ah, that was my bad. I thought it was a stupid idea at the time, so I didn't really exert myself. I, uh... I also sort of stopped trying after three years. What are you... <sighs> Never mind. I'm partly to blame as well. 
On the second attempt, I just hugged the key and pretended like I was pulling as hard as I could. And why the fuck uh, didn't you guys so pull it? Lazy. My granny's neighbor's pet cat has nothing on you, and it spends all day every pet day. Pet dog, Sunday not then. pet cat. Uh, anyway, uh, you said you heard the voice of the goddess of fate at the end. That's amazing. There is a world beyond our own, after all. What would you guys say to taking a trip to the outside world sometime? I don't know Otherwise, if that's possible, though. For nothing. Depends. Do either of you know how to get there? But yes, I agree we should go. And not invite the detective. Just to annoy him. <laughs> but maybe the reason we've never worried about whether we're real or not is that, unlike him, we weren't there to witness the creation of this world. We've never had any reason to doubt that we're real. If someone ever convinced me that these delightful dimwits, Cape and Albizzi weren't real, oh, I'd be devastated. No. <laughs> <sighs> okay. Wait, is it? Is this really? Excoder. All right. Well, um, there's still some questing to do here. Hang on. I need to wait two more days. So, all right. That's one, and that's two. Two more days. Oh. Look how fast time passes. I kind of would like love to look at the sky while the whole fast forward is happening, but I guess that's not an option. Something you wish to report? Go on. You have my undivided attention. Where are we going? Oh, that's my mom. All right. Give me, give me a sec. I'll be, I'll be right back. Be right back.
A Bayek. Uh, give me one second, I'm just wanting to check something. Uh, oh, I see. Mm. Oh, that's pretty freaking fast, isn't it? Alright, um, not me also applying to like some new jobs. You know what, I want to, um, uh, I'm just, I'm just, um, going around, um, looking at jobs, not me trying to submit like, <laughs> like a million application. Oh. Customer service agent at Oakland. Oh, but I don't want to. <laughs> Compass grew. I mean, I could become a flight attendant. <laughs> oh. Manava Bay. I wish Oh, they're looking for flight attendants. I don't want to be a flight attendant though. I used to. When I was in high school, I wanted to be a flight attendant. But um, I I um, I realized that it's uh, it's enough for me. Here go. Let me let me uh, shut this down. We're still doing questing. All right. Return the clockwork key. I just walk. <laughs> Uh. Hey, what's in here? A cabbage. What the? What? What are you guys doing? What the fuck? Huh? Huh? <laughs> hey! Why did they hide a bunch of vegetables in there? Oh Jesus. I forgot that you need to like make a way across here with this thing. Cool from here. Doo -doo. <laughs> I'm not gonna climb up the tree for those. Absolutely not. 
I'm gonna pour myself some. Why the fuck? Ow! Hello? Why was the tea coming up on top? It was coming out of my water bottle. How is, how is water flowing upwards and out of my water bottle? But it only happens if the water is hot itself. Is it because the. because hot water. like. If things get hot, they expand. Is it? Is it that? I, I might be. I don't. I don't know. At this point, I am confusion. I'm just gonna put the top back so it doesn't. I really should wash this water bottle. Too. <laughs> oh well. Um. I'm gonna leave that alone. <laughs> Even though it's just a water flower. Mushroom, mushroom. Huh? Huh? Betcha, 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 betcha. Oh, betcha, betcha. Is there anything in here? No. Betcha, 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 betcha. Mushroom, mushroom. Oh, they are already here. Oh. Oh, cool, cool. Alright, well, let's return the key. To, I have to be so bad. Uh. Mm. Okay. Hey, did I just need to return the key and that's it? I thought there was like a... Oh. I guess there's that! Okay. Um, right. What I'll do... Is, uh... Even that this didn't like the closure on it. I mean, I guess it was okay. Alright, let's go and do the other one. Which is not this one, it's this one. The goal is in Sumeru, Sumeru City. Which is cool because I need to go buy the, um, the Adventurer's Guild anyway. Oh, I am... Ugh. I am bundled up and I'm still cold. I mean, my the tips of my fingers are not that cold anymore because I've been drinking a lot of tea. But that also means that I have to pee really frequently. So there's that. Hey, Katrin. Add Give me some Primo gems. Thank you for comp. Awesome. All right. Wait, wait, wait. Do we have Vendosia? We still have six days. How far am I? Been spending quite a lot on this banner, actually. Ooh, I'm getting close. I should save it for, um, Yelan. I really should. Alright, um... Oh, so... <laughs> so, Tainori is working on something here, I believe. Oh, he's up there. Okay, how do I get up there? Oh my god, I keep forgetting. I have to go up there and then I have to go across. I know how Sumeru City works. Let's get this one just spawned right there. 
I thought that those two were just standing on air, but it turns out that they were standing on the bridge. Alright. I could have just teleported up here, now that I'm thinking about it. Okay. Oh, but this one's not voiced? Fuck! Alright, oh, didn't Kolei say the Sumeru City has been pretty lively lately? Aren't you a even a little curious? Uh, not really. Oh, well, hey, come on, don't be so cold. Show Paimon your passion, your passion! Can you think of it as an accom accompanying Paimon to a party, okay? Fine, I believe you're a chaperone. But then let's go and see what's going on. Um, I, do, I it didn't, okay. Don't let me read it. Will we meet like I'll hate them or someone? If I'm gonna have to entertain one more NPC, I'm going to be real sad. Also, the architecture in Sumeru is so beautiful, I still can't get over it. Is that Nahida? No, that's, that's Farazan. I thought it was Nahida for a second. Hey, look, that's Farazan over there. Do you think we should ask? Hmm. Even just glancing at boring records give me flashbacks of how awful that book, book was. How irritating. Hey, Farazan. I kind of don't care about you. I kind of forgot that you existed. What are you What are you doing talking to yourself over there? I am Madame Farazan after... Hey, can go on? Did I miss something? I am Madame Farazan after all. Is it not out of place for... It, it, it's not out of place for me to mull things over out loud, but don't you say? But in this case... Oh, never mind. Forget about it. Why did two of you suddenly decide to drop by? Well, uh, about that, we heard that something about a party, and you didn't want to miss out, the party. Well, I told us that Sumeru, Sumeru, is place to, Sumeru is the place to be now. Apparently, a ton of interesting things are happening, so we thought we'd ask around. Any idea what she was talking about? Interesting things. What might Kolei find interesting? Tiny still is getting so fluffed up, but like a bowl of tumbleweed? Or Sino's climbing a tree and getting his hood caught on the branch. Whoa, we really missed all of that? Ah! Oh, wait, 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 those are actually happening? <laughs> I, I love this feature, by the way. Tainor is still getting so fluffed up, it looks like a bowl of tumbleweed. And Tainor is getting stuck on a tree. Awesome. Seriously? Nobody thought to tell me? Still, she said there was something big everyone's been talking about. Can you think of anything slightly more significant? More significant. Ah! Is that something the matter, madam? Um, uh, well, now that you mention it. Uh, it must be what I think it is. Recently. We must have been going around about a certain book. Eh? That's a classic horror story opening. Not some kind of forbidden tome or anything like that, is it? Forbidden tome? Ha! Um, as far as I'm concerned, it might as well be. Tell me, have you ever read one of those really, 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 really badly written detective novels? Um, I don't think I have. I've read detective novels, but not the, the badly written ones. Tell me exactly how bad it was. Oh, leave this to Paimon. Uh, for example, Type when you start thinking it's a logged murder room mystery, but it actually turns out that the whole building was just moved. That's right! It was supposed to be based on pure reasoning and logical deduction, but at the end, it turns out the culprits have some kind of superpower. Exactly! Or it starts out super serious, but in the second half, it reveals that everyone loses their memories out of the blue. Or it's set in a mountain village in the middle of a snowstorm and the police officer who has been portrayed as a serious figure throughout the whole story suddenly turns out to be the murderer without even the slightest hint of foreshadowing. Um, You off offend half the crime novelists in Teyvat if you keep going. <laughs> My apologies. 
let me, I let myself a bit carried away there for a moment. Anyways, to cut the long story short, I did borrow a book like that a few a few days past. So you borrowed the badly written book? Oh, but that happens to the best of us. Oh, it's not a problem. The blizzard swept mountain villages superpowers, burst officers who turned out to be criminals. The book had it all, and more. Reading it was a tr tenth amount of to to torture. Despite how complicated it was, it wasn't engaging to the slightest. But there have been all sorts of rumors circulating around this book. Because of the strange mark down, uh, marks drawn all over the pages, people were saying it must be concealing secrets. You think there's treasure involved? I don't think so. Not sure. But there must be uh, many who believe so. Not only for more and more people who have been borrowing it, but they all been specifically asking for the marked up copy. Have you borrowed it too? Yes, I have. It as you well, as you well I know. As you well know, Jesus. I'm like, those words don't don't seem to make any sense in my brain. As you well know, I am a scholar, so it's really natural to have a bit of curiosity. So, just what secrets does the book at the center of the rumors actually hold? I read it thorough through carefully from start to finish. Most of the marks are circles, but the beginning and the end points of each stroke are different. This does the color of the ink used, most importantly. All the names of the people in the book have been circled. Not only that, many of them are adapted from famous figures from Sumerian history. Some speculate that the marks have been left by different scholars over the eras. Each searching for the book's secrets, each searching for a name they believe in. Others believe they are kind of notations made by different people belonging to the same organization, and the names circled are their code names. Others think that it's some kind of inscription cipher, but even after finishing it, I came no closer on recovering the mystery. Not only was I reading was reading it a complete waste of time, but sheer absurdity and shoddy excuse were applied several times over. I was so angry I returned the book immediately. And when I came to the uh, to the house of Dana today, I found a lot of people talking around. I suppose they are still looking for that thing. No wonder you zoned out like that. Paimon's guessing you won't be borrowing any more detective novels anytime soon. Oh, indeed. Five Moon Traveler, surely the two of you must understand how I feel. Uh, don't worry, madam, I feel your frustration. What's the book called? Uh, we'll borrow it and take a look ourselves. It's called The Reasoning Knows Not Time of Day, but since friends always follow a wizard. Are you sure? Sounds like more of that of a light novel. <sighs> Tell me about it. Anyways, read it at your own risk. It's truly um, it, it is, tr it truly is unbearably boring. Okay. What's here? Ah, here are the exits. Okay. Those those cannot be open. These doors. <laughs> yes. I keep forgetting which one is which. And what each one does of the Darshans, but oh well. On a mechanical frame. The academia is beautiful still. It's a ginormous library. God. They really put their heart and soul into Sumeru. I still like this place so much. Don't really come here often anymore though. 
Ooh, hang on, let me just go up and have in the hopes of of see all hate them. Mr. Hating the the all. Hey Ronan, how you doing? Welcome, welcome. I like them. Where's he? I like them. I came up with the wrong end. <laughs> I like them. This desk looks clean. I am the head mage now. What are they called? I wish I had a fancy office like that. <laughs> uh. Okay. Hang on. Still doing the. I am actually doing a quest. I don't know if you noticed. Oh my god. <laughs> Hey, <laughs> Sanity, how you doing? Welcome, welcome. Uh, how you how you doing? When was the last time you logged into Gemshin? Wait, am I coming out of the wrong end? There are so many books with uh, a long. Hang on. There are so many books with long titles here. Let Paimon have a look. Working card, vacationing harder. What the heck? Oh, I just logged off the Genshin two minutes ago. Ah, okay. Well, never mind. Last time I logged in was fifteen minutes ago. I'm addicted, man. Yeah, I ke I keep logging in as well. Actually, cut back if I wanted to because I've been taking some breaks. Like I, I've, 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 I've taken like week long breaks from Genshin because I was like, eh. but yeah, I, uh, I can't do it if I wanted to. I proved that to myself. An atlas of rare rainforest dwelling species, a professional edition. Art of construction of coffee machines? Who exactly reads these? Some kind of weird person who reads their- or who does their thesis on it. Wake up 5am, do my dailies. Go for, for like 30 minutes to wake up for some more and then get dressed to go to work. How's the job? You've been in there for like a week now, eh? Oh god. I'm actually curious how the Teresa would look. Um, so Sandy, how's the job? Are you still making chicken soup seasoning? Secrets of Elemental Sciences, a book Jacket even says. Jacket? I don't think that's how it's called, it's called cover. Expert approved, the former sage Cyrus paces this as an excellent entry level book. This one, come. Compilation and summary of common basic grammar rules and la rare languages of ancient desert people. They they have books on freaking everything here. They they need to because people have to have um, material to write their thesis and do their research on. Come on, Paimon, you can learn learn twenty different. Oh, is that Layla? Layla, let's just ask her. She may know something. She's probably studying for like an exam or something. Layla, I don't want to disturb you, but I still will disturb you. I enjoy the physical labor of it. It's not bad. I'm still getting used to it. At least you, like, you would get in shape with that, so that's pretty good. Hey, Layla, are you sleeping? Uh, no, she looks like she's awake. Hey, Layla. Traveler, Paimon, it's been so long. I'm still a bit tired. Didn't sleep well last night? Hmm, I was reading a novel, so I stayed up late. 
Wasn't that Detective Novel that everyone's been talking about, was it? The one with the super long name. Uh huh. Oh no, you're talking about the reasoning knows not time of day, but suspense always follows a... Uh, follows a... Uh, follows a... Oh yeah, that's that's right. No, that wasn't the one. But then Farazam said it was really dull, so I don't borrow it. Oh, so you're not that interested in the book's secrets? I haven't been able to keep up with my own work, even though I've been up late all these days. But the way more people is int but the way more people have been interested in the book I have ever imagined. Seven or eight. Seven or eight in a single morning. I feel like a living signboard uh, sitting here like this. Ali asked me the same question. So you must be looking for it too. He was even hiding behind the letter before looking for something. He looked really embarrassed. Oh my god. Stop! Uh, I mix different spices every day. I did pepperoni flavoring a few days ago. I did corn dog for a major brand yesterday. PepsiCo will be visiting today to check on our operation. That's cool. I love spices. I have um, my spice drawer in the kitchen. I have it set up like kind of nicely. There are a few things that are just chucked in there because I can't really like put them anywhere because they are too big for the little racks. Um, I have, what, what do I have? Turmeric, cumin, uh, garam masala. No, garam masala, that's how it's called. Uh, what else? Hungarian paprika. Uh, bay leaves. Cloves. Cin like whole cinnamon, ground cinnamon. Nutmeg. I have everything, man. And I still want more. I just love spices so much. I love making curry. I think that's that's my weirdest obsession, making curry. Um, I usually make like either a chicken curry, a chicken based curry, or like a lentil curry. Lentil curry is real nice. I should do that next week too, before I leave. I can do it like, I don't know, on Sunday or something. That would be nice. A good lentil curry. Yeah, I think I should be. Sh I should be. I'm thinking, right? I'm thinking. Um, maybe. Hmm. Because I bought a bunch of veggies. I think I might have bought up too much. Fuck, I forgot to use the mushrooms. I wanted to use some mushrooms today for for my salad. And I bought a bag of mushrooms because it was on special. And um and uh, I didn't end up using it. And I still have the bag of mushrooms and I have to use it. That's alright, I'll use it on another day. I can use it for in a lot of things. So I'm not that not that mad about it. I might have overbought a bunch of stuff. No, to, be, to be fair, it's only... What? Thursday? No, Wednesday. So I still have a week and a half. I can, I can use that amount of mushrooms. I'm a little bit pissed that I forgot to use it. Anyway, whatever. Um, where was I? Oh, I went off on the, um, on the spices. My bad. Let me pour myself some more tea. This is, I think, the, the third jug of tea that I'm drinking, right? Uh, like, this evening. I'm just so cold. Oh, fuck. Shit. Hang on. The, t the top of my water bottle has fallen behind. Oh. Come here. Ugh. Got it. Mm. 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 Now I feel bad that I didn't use the mushroom, but I didn't use the cucumber either. That I'm 
thinking about it. I can use both, actually. It's fine. Searching for something, hiding behind the ladder. He must be off the Mora. That's gotta be it. So he can hurry up and pay off his debt to, uh, wait, no. Uh, let's just pretend Timon didn't say anything, Layla. You're really sleepy, right? I must be dreaming this conversation. <laughs> I didn't really get it right away. But if you say so, it's a dream. Thank you. We'll keep looking. I'll see you next time. All right, well. What the hell? They not recommend Jesus. Okay, red pepper. I wouldn't necessarily snort it, but turmeric it, it smells really nice. Or like ginger, ground ginger. Ooh, ground masala. Ground ginger are really nice. Also, ground cumin is really nice too. I wouldn't smell it uh, like straight, but it is nice. All right. Not often Layla falls asleep so quickly. Good on her. Five more things we could go ask Kave now. If he's searching for the book, he must know something. Where is he now? We can visit him at all Hightum. But not the 22.6 kg garlic! Is it the garlic powder? I, we don't, I don't really use garlic powder. I use like the ground garlic in a jar. Or like an actual garlic. But I don't really use garlic powder, but I really should. Probably would make everything a little bit better, like my salads and all of that. Should probably pick up some uh, some garlic powder. There is also an Indian supermarket, like really close. Not really close, but close. So I usually go there to pick up some spices. And it's really nice, because they are a lot cheaper than what you would get them for in, this, in the actual supermarket. Uh, I got um, like a big bag of garam masala for like $5, like this big. And um, usually garam masala comes in the jar like this small, like a tiny, and it's, it's about the same price, like $3.60 or something. Jesus. That burns as though smelling nice. Yeah, I can I can I can see that happening actually. <laughs> Wouldn't okay, so do does your like being smell of the of the spice when you go home at the end of the day? Because you know how like your your skin can take on like certain smells even if you shower if your skin absorbs it you kind of like still smell of the thing afterwards does that happen to you all right let's go look for kave Look, if I was Kave, I would hang out at all hate themselves. <laughs> Far was on still chilling here. Oh, she left. Oh, I guess it's night time. Yeah, it is. Well, then Kabe must be at home then. I'm guessing. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. My room smells like it, I think. I think I kind of smell like it, but I work with different spices each day, so my room smells like it because of my shoes. Fair enough. Are you given like work uniform or something? Like work clothes? Are we going into their house? 
now. Um, the other thing that we've seen a pair of thieves hiding here to ambush Kave, it almost feels like we're here to extort him or something. I was not sure why though, I just want to ask him a couple of questions, that's all. When have you ever been bothered by your conscience? <laughs> Ah, oh, yeah, we wash them every single day. Oh, that must be something. I usually just do laundry like once a week. I think, yeah, during the weekend I do multiple loads of laundry. Because I separate them by color. And I wash underwear separately. Like underwear and socks, I wash them on a higher temperature just to like sanitize them more. Uh, and I wash dark clothes, light clothes, and we sometimes we have like colorful clothes. So I wash those separately, but the colorful clothes are a bit slower to accumulate. So I only wash those in like every two, three weeks when we I have enough for a load. Hey, that sounds like footsteps. Quick, let's take a look. Stop right here. Oh, I'll hate them. Hi. I was kind of looking to look looking for you actually. Oh, it's been a while since I've seen this man and the, his presence is still um, does something to me. It's not the same as, as Nobilat or Ayato, but he's still pretty good. Hey, I'll hate him. Oh, I'll hate him. What are you doing here? Good question. Surprising indeed. I was under the impression that I knew that you uh, that I lived here. <laughs> uh, I mean, yeah, Paimon, what kind of question is that the man lives here? <laughs> uh, good morning, Alhatham. Good morning. What can I do for you? Um, nothing. Never mind. Oh, uh, well, goodbye then. Alhatham is like, I don't fucking care. He just left. Does he have work to do or something? I'll hate him. Nah. But everything I wear to work counts as light, so they can so they can wash together easily. When I get home, I change the shorts, take everything and just toss it in. I bathe, I make something to eat, eat it, and then just put it in. Oh yeah, that's right. You put them in the dryer because you guys have dryers. <laughs> It's so, it sounds so stupid, but wherever I live, outside of the US, we never had dryers. We just hang up the clothes to dry every time. Like back home, um, they're not that common in Hungary. So I never actually used the dryer until I went to America when I was like 20, 22. That was the first time I actually used like a proper dryer because it's, we, we never had to use one back home. And dryers are not that common over here as well. They are more common than back home, but they're not as common. So yeah, I kind of forgot that dryers existed, but uh, makes sense, I guess. I thought that you just like hang them up somewhere overnight and they dry by the morning, which, you know, can happen. Except when it's winter, but it's not winter over there, so... What's steps again? Stop right there, Kave. Oh, hell, hello. Oh, they, they, they totally fucked. They, they totally, they totally had a thing going on. Leaving right up one after another. Whoa, what the? What are you two doing here? Good question. Surprising indeed. Paimon was under the impression that you know, that you, you know, only the reason why I'd be here is if we were looking for you. What? All right, see you later, Sadity. Bye, well, you don't sound like yourself. Looking for a certain book by any chance? Wait, what? Here's the deal. You and Paimon pull Kave to one side. Oh, and, uh. You and Paimon pull Kave to one side in hush tones and tell him about the rumors Farazan was talking about. He mentioned the, uh, the eyewitness saw him searching something in the house of Dana. 
How is it that you guys know everything? Oh, there I was, thinking I would be super discreet the whole time. No one should have noticed. Come on, Gabriel. You don't think that no one knows you, you live here? Hey, that's not fair. Of course nobody knows, except for Steino, Tainarin, Kole, the two of you, right? Well, that's still a lot of people. Friends are friends! So if, if they know, well, they know! What if a stranger overheard us? That'd be a disaster. That might even impact my career. How you just roommates with someone? You, you guys are kind of dating at this point anyway. Anyway, about that book. You believe it contains intel about a, a he hidden treasure, don't you? Looking to get rich quick, are we? Um, are you offering to help finding it? Sharks, why didn't you say earlier? So there is treasure. How about this? We help you find it and we split the 50 50. It's a deal. Traveler, after all we've been through, it's finally our turn to get rich. No need. No need to keep yapping. <laughs> why are they using. Yapping, anyway. Hidden treasure, Paimon's probe home in in for you. Oh, hey, Paimon! Alright. My voice acting is top tier. Uh, is it? Yeah. Hey! Hi, dear. <laughs> it's missing a space here. Traveler and Paimon. Must be my lucky day running into you like this. Yeah. Your mercenaries are pretty turned into the grapevine. Have you ever heard a book called The Reasoning Knows Not uh, Time of Day but Suspense Always Follows the Blizzard? You guys are looking for it too? Who? Oh, you don't mean you're looking for it too? Oh, does it mean that we finally have this square off against the year? Wait a minute. Wouldn't you mind telling me what exactly why you're looking for it? Once more you go over the rumors Farzan told you. There, Farzan never said that there's treasure involved. It just came out of our mind that someone like... I think it came out of Paimon's mind. That the book contains like a, a, a way to get treasure. But it never actually said that it contains treasure, it's just a rumor formed in Paimon's head. If it really turns out to be something important, I'll be sure to let you know if I hear anything. Well, really? From your reaction, Paimon thought you'd, you'd be after it too. Don't worry, a client has asked me to get her the book, but her attitude seemed off somehow, so I didn't take the commission. You're a smart cookie though. It was like she was hiding something, so I thought she must have had an ulterior motive. Besides, I have no other things to look into right now. Um, compared to some commissions, it's more important that you uncover the truth behind that book. Anyways, no time to lose. I've gotta get going. Alright then, good luck. And don't forget to tell us if you hear anything. Alright, bye Dia. Dia out left. Right. I wonder whose Dia's client could be. Hey! Oh, hi! Who co you caught up with us. Ugh. How are you so fast? I mean, we are adventurers. This is our job. Flying faster than running? I'm, I'm sorry, it's a traveler thing. Alright, listen to me. It's like this. I'm on. Don't get your hopes up. That book is in some kind of treasure map. Just an unbelievably unremarkable surprisingly ordinary detective novel huh? but don't you say that was treasure if most people b uh, backtrack like that paimon you think they've changed their minds and want to keep all the more for themselves that's not something you do oh it's a uh... sorry i couldn't bring myself to tell you earlier so i paid along with whatever you were saying Here's what happened. I borrowed the book a month ago. When I opened the first page, I discovered one of the names was printed incorrectly. That night, I've been drinking just a little and was starting to feel drowsy, so I picked up a pen and circled the name. <sighs> I'm sure you know, the House of Dana allows borrowers to uh, annotate the books they take out. I'm in the habit of doing that, so, so at the time I didn't give it a second thought. But after I was a dozen pages in, I realized that all the names of the names of all the characters in the book had intentionally written slightly wrong. Maybe it would have been more accurate to say that the novel itself was quite strange. 
All the characters' names were based off of real historical figures, but, but rather than using their original names, they have been tweaked ever so slightly. Most people assume that the author made a mistake or that they've been printing errors when they were spo set, so the spelling mistakes like that. But I didn't find the content particularly appearing, so I returned it before I could finish reading it. But later on, suddenly I've heard that the book became the talk of the town. And there were rumors about mysterious treasure or something. So you thought that something had to do with you? Certainly sounds like it. Yeah, I also heard that now all the names of the book went circled, not just one. I just haven't uh, been able to figure out what in Tehran must have happened to it after I returned it. Did you tell anyone that she borrowed it? Let me think, uh, Tainari? Last time we met, I also told him how poorly the parts of the books, uh, parts of the book were written. He said he'd made it, I'd made it sound pretty funny, so much so in fact that he suddenly wanted to take a look himself. Ma you made it sound like so bad it's good? In that case, let's go find Tainari. That's fine with me. Still have some work to finish up. It's pretty urgent. How about I uh, head back first and we can meet up later once I'm done? No problem. Alright, I hope your work goes well. And me too, thanks. See you later. Alright. Bye, Tain- Bye, Kave. Hey, what? Oh. Alright, let's do this first then. I should have done the focus mode. Oh yeah, I've been I've been postponing this ever so slightly, this whole quest line. Alright, Garcia, what's up? These are the guys that have that are involved in those daily quests. With all due respect, sir, it is beyond me to even think of a way just to hum the melody with this music score you created. I may, sir. We truly intend to create a decent music score. We might as well play a, pay a modest fee for hiring a professional to, uh, in the theater to help. No, negative. Not possible. That way, the gift would mean nothing. I'll further modify the arithmetic formula and generate another music score. Besides, it will definitely take longer. Let me think about it. What are you guys doing? <laughs> Traveler, perfect timing. Mr. Garcia and I are trying to train uh, the numbering num num machine to f uh, into a fine composer. That might a bit sound perplexing, but to put it simply, Mr. Garcia is trying to make the numbering machine generate music scores through certain equations. Uh, can it really do that? So the machine is a calculator by its nature. It is, of course, not capable of generating music scores on their own. Didn't they try to create like a dish and it was disgusting? After the the on uh, number, why did I read it as numbering? It's numbering machine. My brain just like suddenly read the thing and I understood what it was, but I kept reading it as numbering. I thought it was some kind of foreign thing, and anyways, whatever. Numbering machine produces its results. Mr. Garcia has to use another arithmetic formula to translate everything to music notes. Um, uh, what a headache. Precisely, you tongue. That's a very nice summary. Exactly what I meant. So much for the explanation, traveler. I am in pressing need of your help, so le please lend me a hand. Uh, more and other payments will not be a problem. This is urgent. And you want the die on them? Negative. This is an even direr situation. You happen to remember Kaya. I mean, Miss Kaya? Uh, she's leaving Sumeru with her troop today. I made a promise to her that I would present her with a grift as a proper goodbye. This 
Arithmetic music score, which is calculated purely by the algorithm, is my gift for her. But score doesn't look like it could be sung. There's no way I can present this gift for her. How about buying her something instead? I'm afraid that won't work. If it were a common gift, Kaya might... Apologies. I need a moment to calm down and collect my thoughts. Anyways, I need to further update the numbering machine. A uh, traveler... Please come visit me at uh, Mr. A Hunger with me. I'm certain that you'll be a great help. Please lend me a hand. Okay. Oh, I guess we are making music now. Oh, the time, all right. What the? It wasn't even. Oh my god. On. Let me speedrun this quest and I speedrun the other sweet quest after. So your sketches of the components. They're not hard to make, but sure it takes some time to reach your desired level of precision. That I remember this daily. How much time will it take? Can it be finished today? Of course not. What do you think manufacturing components is like? Writing letters? It can't be done today. I definitely won't be able to upgrade the numbering machine. What's the hurry? Isn't your machine already finished? I'll explain. We went into some uh, unexpected trouble. Lurum tells everyone what happened. So you fell in love with Miss Kaya at first sight. What? No! We are in cooperation! Business partners! Goodness gracious, I am utterly... Have you, exper have you expressed your affection to Miss Kaya? Affection? <laughs> so you never told her that you have a... I can assure you that Ms. Mr. Garcia had mentioned it to her before. What? Lutong? How did you know? Good sir. The excuse you used when you sent me away at the time I was simply too telling. The day in the cafe too. Throughout your conversation with Miss Kai, I didn't even mention your numbering machine once. Knowing you, I'm certain that it wasn't just any regular conversation. Much appreciated, Luton. Please use that good memory of yours for something else. So what did she say? She said she would pay for coffee next day. Uh-huh. Oh. Can we please move on? The most pressing issue at the moment is the components. Ah, since you've already paid, I do my best to finish these components as soon as possible. Seriously. If you want a gift that makes Kaya happy, why don't you go and ask for some advice from a professional? Like Zikar Zubar, who runs the theater. He knows the likes and dislikes of his performance stuff. He might, he might know what gift you should give to Kaya too. That's a splendid idea, Mr. Garcia. Please continue the discussion of the components with Mr. Agar. As for the traveler and I, um, we shall pay a visit, visit to the theater and ask Mr. Seg Zubar for potential gift choices. As you often tell me, a backup plan is necessary for all pursuits, isn't it? Thank you. You're welcome. Alright. That's it, the road traveler. I hope we'll find the right gift. Okay. Okay. Mm Hello. I have some questions about Kaya. Finally a break. Hmm? You came for me? What do you need? I'd like to learn more about Miss Kaya. Lutong asked the questions. Kaya? Oh, right. She is a brilliant dancer. If there has to be one, she's very fond of a snack called Can't I Nacht Knots. 
But isn't Kaya about to leave sooner? She's been asking around to buy candy the Jai I don't know uh, not slightly. Nuts. He's nuts. Candid Algena nuts. Right. We transcribed the batch of recipes for a few days ago. And when we were texting, the capacity of the numbering machine. The recipe for the nuts was one of them. <laughs> this sounds like a good idea. It's just that we still need someone who knows how to make it. Mr. Garcia and I are the least familiar with the culinary arts. I've seen that before. But it could at least be a feasible backup plan. Let's return to Mr. Garcia and tell him about this. Judging from a look on your face, you assume you have some questions? Has Kaya told you anything? Not that I'm aware of. Ever since a few days ago when Mr. Garcia went out on a day with Miss Kaya, I would drink coffee in the corner away from them and try my best to keep my eyes away. Actually, all this time I've been hoping that one day Mr. Garcia would suddenly say to me that he would postpone the development of the numbering machine and travel around with Miss Kaya for some time. I would happily agree whatever uh, he gives me some compensation and temporarily sends me back to Lewa or lets me continue, uh, continue keeping their accounts as usual. But each time... Uh, he he only parts or pats on my shoulder and says, Luthong, we need to continue discussing the mechanical structure. Enough about this. Let's bring the news to Mr. Garcia and hope he won't wear out Mr. Ahagnar's uh, patience this time. Oh. Let's uh, go. You can't really see if anyone's on the back of the stage here. Though you can only see them if they're like really at the front here. That's a, a really shitty design for a theater, isn't it? They need to like... It the stage cannot be lifted, they can't see. Oh well, whatever. Alright! Garcia, we have some news for you, my man. Lotong. You're finally back. Mr. Ahangar and I have been trying to find a way to reduce the time needed for the component manufacturing and there has been no progress so far. Running out of ideas. Assume this is good timing. The Trevor and I have come up with a backup plan. The formula for transcribing music notes might be too complicated, but do you remember the recipe for uh, candied alginach nuts we transcribed? We learned that Miss Kaya is quite fond of that kind of stack called that. Perhaps we could send the transcribed recipe along with the snack. Yes, of course, that could work. I have neither appropriate cooking equipment nor culinary skills. I guess I won't be much help. I remember there is a pot that we can use at the Lambert's Tavern. Why don't we go there? Really? Let's go. How did you even manage to remember this? It's my duty, sir. All right, well, let's go to Lambert's Tavern. Splendid. We both have the ingredients and the pot ready. Hmm. Give me some time to record the formula. Let's see, where's my pen? Let me calculate this. And he's just like standing in the background like... This should do it. I've got the key data covered. Give me a few minutes to go over some details. How do you manage to remember all of this? I don't memorize everything. I ran a brief men uh, mental calculation. It's not very complicated given that I have calculate all calculated before. However, the ingredient input varieties b uh, between each group of data. But the time for detail calculation is a luxury at the moment. Traveler, you travel around the world. I'm certain that you have quite the taste in some delicacy. I trust your intuition. I'll let you decide on the ingredient and what's added in the maximum amount. It's not a good idea. Ingredients, alginate nuts, almond, butter, and some roses. I guess it's the nut that's supposed to be the biggest one, given that that's what the na dish is named after. Exactly! Hmm, indeed, by the name of the... the nuts. <laughs> the input of... 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 Ali Neka nuts should be maximized. Well, so add the ingredient according to the data. We must hurry. Yes, sir. Three of you start making the nuts. 
I just keep calling it the nuts because there's no way. Is this number of Ajalanang mildly overwhelming? But that's right. I believe we can conveniently remove the, the Kendite from the name Kendite. <laughs> oh, well, at least it bears the portion of a proper meal. Anyway, let's take the, the snacks and recipe to Miss Kaya now. I made an appointment with her to meet at the usual place. Alright, uh, put the music scores away, Lutong. I feel I might hand this uh, to Miss Kaya accidentally. What? Huh? What? Oh? Ah! Where's the score? You don't have it? You had it with you the entire time, sir. If you don't have it, where else? Oh dear. Um, sir? Go back to the coffee now. You might have put the score on the table. Huh? <laughs> oh my god, they keep... <sighs> Let's go. Better just uh, bother with Tainori. I'm doing two quests at once because they cannot be... These cannot be done since like focus ones. This is so annoying. Anyways, whatever. Oh, Sumeru, I remember this place so well. I got. Uh, let me let me read it properly. Part of a comp part of a complete dinner. How you doing, back on my comp? I was like, that's that's a name and a half. I was like, I need to read this properly. How you doing? I had already had dinner, but thank you anyway. Wait, 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 where is Sainari? Am I fucking blind? Oh, sh there he is. Over there! Hey, Tainari! Hello! I heard you, I heard you. How's it going, Traveler and Paimon? You guys sure look excited. You tell Tainari about how you're looking for the novel, reasoning knows not time of day, but suspense always follows a blizzard. As you do so, you reflect once more on how absurd the long title is and how even just saying it aloud makes you feel tired. Ah, that one. Yes, I did go to the heights of Dina to borrow it. I always said it wasn't worth reading, but I was curious, so I went and read it anyway. The problem was, there were already two names circled in the book. Uh, I borrowed the, I borrowed, and the style of each circle was different. It was like some kind of game. Someone had drawn a red circle around the name, the first character that appeared, and then someone had drawn a green circle around another na the one. So, in the time between Kaveh returning the book and you taking it back out again, someone else has already atoned it. That's right. I'm unsure that the first circle was drawn by Kaveh. Uh, yeah, there's no surprise there. If you stop and think about it for a good second, guessing the identity of the second annotator should be trivial. It was- it was all hate them! If there are two people living in a house, one of uh, them drew the first circle, it's highly likely the other one has left a mark too. Well, no, that's not how it works, but okay, I mean I guess it could be all hate them. Sometimes those two are really too much. In the end, it is as I suspected from the beginning. The first character whose name has been circled on the very first page turned over turned out to be the murderer. Surely it's just a blatant spoiler. Like the joke where someone opens the novel and bam, there's a note on the margin spoils everything from the start. What kind of joke would be cruel? Now that was one of Cyrus's. It wasn't just a joke, he actually pulled the stunt like that when he was younger. Oh god. You mean the adventurer Cyrus? He was unlucky enough to borrow a book right after he scribed all, scribbled all over it. My master Nephis, professor and Professor Zaha Hadi. What's, uh, who, who had a seminar with him that very afternoon. Cyrus says that the master once uh, 
threatened to give him a good beating by the side of the entrance of the house of Dana. Only thanks to my mother and Professor Zaha. Your mother? Uh, intervening that it didn't happen. Paima doesn't sympathize with Cyrus at all, not one bit. House of Dana has never stopped people from meditating books. But this seems like a special case. Didn't think the book could be allowed to keep circulating like that. So I circled several names by itself, laying a false trial. A false trail. Ah, that's how it happened. The best place to hide a leaf is in the forest. It's a simple, it's a simple principle. Uh, well, if you put it like that, but still, how many names did you circle? Let me think. Not too many. About three or four. I chose them all randomly. Then who circled the name other names in the book? Must have been others who borrowed it and did something similar, I'm not sure I. What if though borrowing books could be so complicated? Everyone's scribbling over some books. Ah, oh, go to the treasurers, read back onto the treasurers. Oh, we're, that's where we're going to the cafe. Right. Mayo. Kind of sounds like mayonnaise. Oh, there's candy. Ah, uh, Dia. Looks like there's Dia. Let's tell her what the real story is. Oh, Candace is here too. So I need to ref I need to reflect a little of what I did. What happened? Dimitri here is surely due to your guidance of the gods. Hey, Candy. Candace, is this a personal threat? Today I stripped to the city to buy uh, provisions for the people at Aru Village, as well as help Miss Satoria deliver a message to the stages of the academia while I'm here. Oh, by the way, I happened to see Dia sitting in the cafe looking down, so I came over to chat with her. Oh, there is nothing serious. I just suddenly remembered a few details about the book after talking with you. Before the client even contacted me, I heard rumors of an exciting novel full of undiscovered secrets. So out of curiosity, I asked Sino to take it out for me. As a desert dweller and a mercenary to boot, the idea of uh, solving a mysterious treasure map is pretty exciting. Mmm, Paimon totally gets that. We inherited our custom for searching for gold and wisdom in the sands from the gods themselves. But the book turned out to be dry as dust. The bunch of names have been circled, but I still can't figure out what the puzzle was supposed to, to be despite reading the whole thing through carefully from the start to finish. In the end, I started to think it was some kind of ritual or game or something. I picked up a man and drew a, cir a circle on my own. I love it later on, Miss Dunyazard asked her parents to find a way to borrow it for her. Uh, she said the mysterious markings fascinated her, even though she couldn't get into the book herself. Couldn't, couldn't get the book itself. If they were just regular annotations, I, it wouldn't be anything out of the ordinary but these strange circles. I can't help but uh, want to try and figure out what they might mean. So true. So dear, upon reflecting on this having accidentally interfered with other people's reading experience, is that correct? Mm-hmm. Aww, you, 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 you think that you ruined the book? Aww. Wait, hold on a second. Why did you kill Candace? She's a warrior, you know. Sometimes she has uh, to interrogate criminals and other things like that too. Everyone recognizes that her job is sacred, so when we need to think over what we've gone, done, gone wrong, we'll talk to her about it. Fair enough. She's so beautiful, oh my god, I can't believe she's only a four star. Please don't be too surprised, my dear traveler. Uh, to me, listening to other people's mistakes is just another way of protecting them. Aww, oh, you're so beautiful. She's, she's so pretty, oh my god. Her design is beautiful. Speaking of your own mistakes and hearing sincere advice in return by him, I return improvement will come over time. 
Does the baby do things? But all she did was draw a circle. It's not like she was deliberately trying to mess with anyone. Besides, everyone agrees that the book itself is just bad. Don't worry about it. Mm, that's true. I was just staring at Candace how bizarre it is. But be that that is may, it doesn't change the fact that it just ain't right to mess with someone else's enjoyment of a book. That's the bottom line. Anyway, dear, please have faith in the... That the gods will forgive your transgression. <laughs> Besides, you told me about the part of the story when one of the suspects in the case ended up crawling out of a village in hands and knees and was named Al Aknol. That's right. The detective in the book argued that he must have leapt across a broken bridge like a frog. Of course, you find out later that his conjecture is totally off base. Why is that? Turns out that Al Akmar has a superpower so they can float right across the broken bridge. What the heck is that book is even about? It sounds completely ludicrous. Al Akmar. Simply too reminiscent of the of the good name of King Deshra, don't you think? So considering how transgressive this book sounds, I don't think it's worth overthinking it. Alright. You know, I can't have to wonder. Uh, what our friends at the Temple of Silence w would say if they somehow got their hands on this book. I'm sure those strangers would be able to unpack an interesting ideas from the text that ordinary people could could scars dream of. No more for... It's no more for there to be bridges outside of blizzards wrapped mountain villages and no more for them to be broken but there a person to cross by one by floating through the air. Why resort to such lame plot device? Is it really a serious detective novel? I am going on a tangent here with this whole quest. I don't know where I'm going. This quest just started and it's still going and I don't know where I'm going. Chukom, Sinoman said, I sucrose. They were calling something, but at least for a sign of God, damn. I don't remember that, but it's probably during that Windbloom festival, eh? How you doing? Welcome, welcome. He probably said something like that. It's very Sino esque, for sure. Oh, there. Ah. Uh. Part was starting to get where Forozam was coming from. If you've gotten all excited about reading a detective novel but end up reading a tribe like that instead, uh, better not even think about it. So, where's the book now? They're always up to something! Oh my god. The dead jokes are incoming. Not sure. I returned it after I was done reading it. Uh, and back then, there weren't many markings inside as the rumor says there are now. Alright, Detective Paimon is still on the case. I do believe it's just... Uh... Alright. Let's um let's go to the house of Dina. Wait, I could just teleport there. Why am I why am I doing this to myself? <laughs> Alright. We're almost at the end of this quest line, then I do the other the end of the other quest line that I had to start because I couldn't start this quest line until I started the other quest line. God, this is getting more and more confusing by the second. Get it, cause I'm... Oh, hang on. What do you call a dog that bounces a bolt? I... I get it. I get it, Crump. I get it. 
<laughs> I just didn't read it, but I get it. Oh my god. All right. Hello. As a reasoning knows not time of day, but suspense always follows Blizzard has been returned yet. There are two copies of this book. One marked up and the other hasn't. I'm guessing you're looking for the ones with the marks. Indeed, miss. Oh, you, you showed right through us. Many others have been asking for it too. I apologize, though it seems like it has been, been, hasn't been returned yet. Please come back again later. Can you at least tell us who borrowed it? Well, as long as it isn't overdue, we'll wait patiently for it to be returned. Disclosing the borrower's identities without proper reason for doing so would be a violation of professional ethics. So you'll have to forgive me for keeping that information confidential. <laughs> okay. You've got a point. It would be terrible if someone looking to steal a book started harassing whoever borrowed it. What do you call something to catch a fish in Fontaine? A novinette? Oh my god. <laughs> a novinette. He's the Mr. Power Blaster himself. Hey, the two of you look co as confused as a couple of Aranara who just run into each other head first. Are you looking for something? I can help. Not Nahida! Nahida! Hi, my baby! I am. I see both of my children in the same event. I am so happy. Nahida, just the little girl I wanted to see. How you doing? I hope you've been eating well, sweetie. I love you so much. <laughs> Nahida, have you heard of the book called The Reasoning Knows Not Time of Day, but Suspense Always Follows a Blizzard? Such a long name, but yes, I know the one you mean. I heard that everyone's looking for it and it sounded fascinating, so I found a brand new copy to read it myself. A brand new? You mean, was on the copy with all the markings on it? Yes, that's right. I was more interested in the contents of the book itself rather than the rumors about it in treasure. So, the onboard copy was all that I needed. Speaking of which, it's funny. There's more than one copy of this book, but everyone's looking for the one with all the names have been circled. Are they afraid of spoilers, or do you actually crave them? The punishment does to Jean. What punishment does Jean give to Kali? A, a, a cleaning punishment? Oh god! <laughs> Not to clean. If you give Kali a cleaning punishment, she would blow it up and, and call it a day. So my little terrorist child, she's my other child. This is one of my children and uh, Kali is the other one. Then you know who has the copy of the marking, uh, the one with the markings, right? I just happened to have seen it in the hands of one of your friends. Uh, if you're looking around for the copy that has sparked all the rumors, you should look around near the place of Alcazarzar. Al Is it Dory? Nahida! Please don't go! Oh, she left. No, hang on. I need to I need to look for the for the Alcazar C. I'll finish that quest line and then I'll go back to Garcia. This little side quest is actually pretty cute. I kind of enjoy it, now that I'm thinking about it. Are we gonna run into Dory? She's not my friend, though. Don't know why I have to pretend that I like her when I don't. Hey, that's... That's not Dory! Oh yeah, it is Dory. No, is that Dory, Sino, and Settles? Oh, darn you, General Makamashra. Entrapped... Entrapment isn't going to work. You can't do it. What do you mean by entrapment? Ah, oh, there he is. I haven't met Settles yet, so... 
No scholar who studies King Dasha's civilization failed to understand the significance of the Temple of Silence. Setos is no other than, their, uh, than the heir to this ancient organization and its history over a thousand years. After arriving in Sumeru City, he did not wish to be caught to conspicuous, so he chose to live in anonymity, crafting an ordinary identity. With his friendly smile and enthusiasm, uh, the skilled conver conversationalist became part of the community almost as soon as he arrived. He ran into him on the street by any chance, it wouldn't hurt to start strike up a conversation. Perhaps he'll share a mysterious dessert tale. Long lost them in the sand. You were the one uh, who said that you had the book. I said I wanted to read it, and then you agreed to meet me here. Sino showing up too was just a coincidence. Pure coincidence. The <sighs> Don't play games with me. Are you know? But <laughs> never chills. I mean... I guess that's her. <laughs> Don't play names games with me. I know who you are. You're that new kid Setos, right? I know you're, you're friends of Sinos. Um, so you do know who I am. I saw how Sino was chasing you around, trying to get you to play cards, and how you found an excuse to run off to another couple of rounds after... That left quite an impression. Uh, you don't have to mention that. No, I think Dory is right about that. You always look for a way out and then when it comes to playing TCG. It's becoming quite a problem. I mean, no one wants to play with you, Sino. Traveler, Paimon. You've been standing here for quite a while. Oh, if it isn't my dear Traveler and Paimon, what brings the two of you to the palace of Alcazarzai? Alcazarzai. What does Sino say when he agrees to something? Say yes! No! And when he disagrees, he says Sino. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> it might be uh, that you have come to do business with me, the Lord Shangama Bay. Oh, of course, of course. Please, give me a moment to conclude our business here and I'll be sh uh, with you straight away. Anyway, the Jaira Mahamatra, as I'm sure you're well aware, uh, that means by which I had someone to borrow this book from the House of Dana were both completely legal and perfectly reasonable. Seeing as it is uh, not time to return it, you have no right to forcibly seize the book I borrowed be the case had you not engaged in any irregular activities. Yet just now a buyer, Setos, came to the palace of Arkazaisa Arkaz on the on the basis of, of a mysterious message to meet the seller, hoping in vain to purchase a detective novel. You mean buyer? He's He's one of your people. You send him here to deliberately try and buy it and then trap me. Why are you trying to resell a book that you borrowed from the library? That's not something I can acknowledge. What I can tell you is that I've had my eyes on this book for some quite some time. Remember, it is forbidden to transfer or sell books from the House of Dana without explicit approval from the relevant authorities. I'm not selling anything, just to be clear. I'm just making the most of an opportunity. If someone pays me a little something on the side, I'll lend them this mysterious novel to browse it for a bit. If you don't believe me, just ask any of my, uh, curious readers, yes. That's right, your readers, anyway. Uh, I was just showing him the book. Is that so? Here I was thinking uh, you were really going to go through with the illegal transaction like the set of. Wait, what? You two aren't all together? I was just really curious about this book. Finally managed to track it down with Sino. I'm sure that Nori never actually said he wanted to sell the book. I mean, she, and I hate her guts anyway. So she is in the mastermind who sorted all of this? Mastermind, uh, to buy your own account, it looks like, uh, 
You might have jumped a little b a gun a little bit, General Mahamashtra. I'm not handing the book over. You may think you've paid an A story, but when you opened the book just now, I saw the truth revealed before me. The book's return date is today. Ah. Um, Shino sure got some sharp eyes. That's right. I have a pretty good vision. And you have less than half an hour before the book is overdue. Give it to me. I'll return it. Uh, how could I just hand it over to you like that? This is a mysterious, super awesome, mega amazing paragon of illogical detective novels that is practically a treasure. I'm gonna make a fortune of it. Should you really be admitting that loud? I didn't say I was going to sell it. Not like I was being serious. Then how about this, Dory Sino? Why don't you two play a little game with the book at stakes? That's one way of solving it. How about it, Dory? You dare to accept the challenge? If you win, I'll turn a bright eye to the book for the time being. If you lose, you hand it over. Oh, sounds interesting. Very well, I'm in. What's the contest? Are both of you confident in your power of mental recall? My memory is not bad. Yes. Okay. How about you both read the contents of this book, correct? Right? Uh, have you? Have you? Have you both read the contents of this book? Yes. Huh? Say so, you've actually read it? Oh, well, and needless to say, so have I. In that case, I'll just open the book, flip through a few pages, and you tell me how many names have been circled. Best out of three wins. Sounds good? That's not. Wait, you're chickening out? No, game's on. Let's go. Alright, in any case, first page. Six. Six. False, correct. Next, second page. Oh, I think it was four? Let's say four. Both of you are right again. Two draws. So it all hangs on the next question. I hope she loses. I hate her so much. Wait, how? Huh? No. Page 61. Hey, what? Uh, I don't quite remember. Um, seven? I know. The answer is five. Absolutely correct. The answer is five. So I know... Uh, is your memory really that good? I'm not buying it. How did you do that? It's not actually because I have a good memory, but because of the circling names left a deep impression on me. After I borrowed it, I noticed the names of the few pages have been selectively circled by different people. Each person's penmanship was different, moreover, recognized three circles have been drawn by Tainari. A few others have used the same color and ink as he does, so it was instantly recognizable. You even know that? Yes, I learned of this happened a lot, a uh, long time ago. At the time, I've just been promoted to General Mahometra and would go go to a secret base when I wanted to get through the trivial task in my intray at the with a minimal disturbance. I would often find Dainari hidden away in, on the tree there, doing his homework, noticing the writing implements. Icky flavored isn't exactly a detective word. All these years, he's never once changed the ink he uses. Back to the book. Anyone who is reading it knows that the first name is circled by a real murderer. Perhaps Sinali did not want uh, the plot to be spoiled for anyone else, so he circled other names. Annotating or making the book not itself a violation book borrowing regulations. Violation of book borrowing regulations. But why are all the other marks are there? Is there some conspiracy behind them? What do they have to do with Tainari? So I want to get to the bottom of this. Even if it's just for the sake of my friend and to uncover the secret, you must become part of the conspiracy. So I circled all the other names that were left in the book. What? Well, you think you'd do such a thing? There's no treasure at all? It was just you guys all along? That's right. 
should you wish to hide the, uh, a grain of sand, bury it in the desert. That's exactly what Tainari used, but with leaves. The, that whole metaphor. And in that grain of sand, I can catch a glimpse of the truth. So you were so drawn to it, to it making your plans, yet in a twist of fate, you discovered by me. No matter how much the world is, you cannot run from the long arm of the law. Wow, you're making a meal out of this, aren't you? You really, really have way too much time on your hands. Okay, I give up you then. <clears> hmm, <throat> it's not for today. It's time for Lord Sangama Bay to return to her room for some repose. Farewell, all. So you intend to take this book back to the Temple of Silence? I heard that there was treasure uh, hidden inside, so they might have something to do with the temple, but I never thought that was the real uh, that was the real story behind that. When you agreed to complete, I've already summarized you were familiar with this book. Surmised, not summarized. That's why I chose uh, that particular format. Brilliant move, bro. Bro. Huh? What was that look? We were just thinking, there might have been more twists and turns to the story behind the book than the actual book itself. As long as you got it back. I'll leave the uncovering the rest of the secrets to you. I'll take my leave for now. See you later, everyone. Hey, can I borrow the book? Of course. After Sino hands you the book, you and Paimon quickly thumb through it. Though you weren't reading very carefully, you can tell something that's not quite right. The plot is wildly imaginative. Just as everyone says, most of the names in the book seem familiar. Clo on closer inspection, you realize they aren't actually the names of historical figures you thought they were at first. <coughs> Not only na that, but every name has been circled. Thinking back on the course of events, you fall silent, and then you explain the full story. How well, unexpected. But it still does make sense. It's far better than the existence of an actual conspiracy. In that place, case, I still have other plans. Last time I was at Carabar and Rebath, I promised I'd meet Dea and Candice for drinks. Trouble, could you trouble you to return the book for me? Yeah, sure. I'll do that. Alright, let's go. Return the book. Do the thing. Do the other quest. And then I'll be out of here. Two and a half hours and I'm still going with this. Well, that was a side, slight disruption in it. Because I still had to do the other quest. I do this, I'll finish the other quest and I'll wrap it up for the day. Thing. Oh, we're finally back. Now let's return this book. You finally found the book? Amazing! I've been waiting uh, here for it to be returned so I can see it as soon as possible. You recount the entire tale to Kaveh's eager ears. Oh, seriously? How's that even possible? I... I actually... I circled the actual murderer? I'm on this pretty surprised by this whole thing too. Oh, let's just take care of the book problem first. He's, he's kind of good looking too. <laughs> Hello, this book. Um, it's probably my fault for using permanent ink to mark the page. Since that caused a whole mess uh, of other things to happen. That's all marked mark up like this. There's even the risk of those markings spoiling the story. So I'd like to buy it. The whole issue could be avoidable if the Academy uses money to buy a new copy. <sighs> Would you please consider my proposal? Mr. Kave, your idea has merit and it is indeed a good way to resolve this situation. I'll confirm the book's price right now and you can pay it over there. That's great, thank you so much. 
Shortly afterwards, Kaveh accompanies the Academia staff to the register and purchase the book and pays the full amount. Top member carefully wraps strollery marked out book and gives it to him. What a blunder. Regardless, thank you so much for your help. I was nothing. You are just kind of along for the ride. So, Kabe, it'd be better if you use something more irreducible to make notes in the future. I understand. I never let myself subconsciously corrupt the typescripting type errors ever again. Oh man. Never book a borrow again with such a long name. At least not for a while. Wait, is that it? Where are we going? We're we getting a cutscene for this. I all hate him, you're here. I was looking everywhere for you. What is it? Guess what I've got in this little bag in here? If I had to guess, a young man's tears of regret? <laughs> And what would you know? Is the reasoning knows not time of day, but suspense always follows the prison. You actually bother to memorize a ridiculous and boring name like that? It's just because I, I was filling out the paperwork to buy it back at the academia's office to write it out over and over. Then it looks like this book has a new owner. Only because I subconsciously marked up the book with ink. Did you know that Tainori D assign a all circle names of the book? And it started because I named the name I circled was the real killer. To be perfectly honest, the moment I first saw the murderer's name circled, I knew that this would happen. Wait a second. How'd you come that you read that book too? And the pleasure of reading it in the house of Dana? The logic is a mess, it's just pure poorly written. And you left the book out in the study. I knew I, you knew I circled the killer, then, then you did circle many names in the book? Do you think? So you did? The second one is mine. Why? The best way to avoid spoilers is to add the red herring. So I just won! Tinery circle three! I've already significantly reduced the probability to the murderer's identity of being spoiled for the next reader. So that's more than enough. I don't need to worry about things are beyond saving. Just why isn't it necessary? Using permanent ink to circle a name on the first page. Obviously beyond saving. What kind of logic is that? Why don't you just draw a circle for fun? I must say so. Because circling names is far more interesting than the book itself. Ah, <laughs> oh, fair point. In the end, I can only have myself to blame for using up my pencils. I need to buy some more. Congratulations, this one of a, a kind out of print book is personally penned by the hands of so many is now yours. I mean, it has significant value. Emotional value. Do you think I look happy about it? I don't even want it. If it was Paimon, she wouldn't want it either. There's no... That's a no from me too. There we go, we're finally finished. Alright. Give me a second, I need to go pee. I'll be right back.
Alright, I'm back. I really had to pee. Oh, so finally, this whole book thing is over. I don't know why this whole quest line was necessary. It was fun. It was funny. Don't know why it was necessary, but I guess. Um, now this one. Let's go to the cafe before I forget what we were about to do, or what we were trying to do. Hairdresser? happened to the machine again? Oh, no, it's just doing fine. My apologies for keeping you waiting. Oh, uh, you said you were going to send me a gift. I have a gift for you too. Here. A bag of candy that I'll check out for you. Having some sweets to at work is good to wait to relax the body and mind. Building that numbering machine is no easy task. Take good care of yourself while working. And did Aljana nuts? What's that weird look? You don't like sweets? I remember you told me you liked them. No, 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 I love sweets. I just, my gift is, for you is also. Gracia takes out his candied nuts. <laughs> Hang on. Nuts and the recipe awkwardly? Okay. We have the same gift for each other, huh? Looks like we are more connected than we think. Your candid agile like not sure looks sure have a different aroma. Oh, there's a recipe too. How uh, why is that written in numbers? Uh, is a candid nut recipe a transcribed from the numbering machine's data? Converted all the uh, procurements and amount ingredients into accur accurate numbers. Uh, it's it's just like I explained before. The accuracy is guaranteed, but I'm not really good at cooking, so these nuts might taste very odd. <laughs> Don't worry, I sure have a good have a time. I have a good time savoring these calculated, uh, candied, ali ne ali ali lenak ali ne ali lenak ali le. These names are so hard to pronounce. Such an impressive gift. Right, when I got here, there were many sheets of paper on the table, all covered in numbers, just like this recipe. All of them had many code in it. Looked like a music score? Not to think of it. The handwritten paper... The handwriting on the paper looks just like yours. It's got nothing to do with me, it's just probably some graffiti by some random drunk yard. Come on, I've organized your scripts and transcribed the text for you. It was your handwriting, without a doubt. I see. You have found another way to make a living before I leave, huh? Absolutely not. I would never write music scores for others in any other in any circumstances. Is a score for me then? I. Has he been in a romantic relationship before? Please understand, Traveler. Mr. Garcia spends a substantial majority of his time in his studies, leaving himself little chance to socialize. Maintaining such a heavy workload and having to adapt social skills at the same time would be impractical. So why don't you help him? Well, I'm hoping that Mr. Garcia can find his true love. I believe that this heartfelt good wish qualifies for my salary, undoubtedly. Come on now, enough with the said expression. Now I won't be able to watch you calculating stuff. I'm leaving some error. This is a, a fail product. I wanted to create a music score for you, so I collected the music scores from most of your performances. I organized the scores, worked out the formula, hoping to create a new score with my numbering machine. 
You can see regardless how I changed the formula, it always resulted in a pile of ass. That was no means music scores. Please return the felt pieces to me, I need to... These are not... This is not a felt piece. This is your gift to me. I love it. I'll keep it. You can't call, even call it a music score. It's not even readable. That's that's your perspective. I haven't give I haven't given it a careful look, so maybe after I have, I'll be able to find something good about it. You don't believe me? Come with me. During our trip, we can modify the score together. All right, I'm sorry. I. You still have a lot of ongoing studies, right? I knew you'd stay there. Do you have a copy for the music score for yourself? I've made a copy of the score. Please, keep the original handwritten score, Miss Kaya. Pardon me, but did you make a copy? Sir, as an account keeper, I maintain the professional capability of transcribing texts. Wait, how did you... No way. Sir, to be honest... I cannot recall it with sufficient clarity. Uh, we were occupied with work. I didn't allocate my attention. I, I didn't allocate my attention otherwise. Lutong, how thoughtful of you. With you by his side, I have nothing to worry about. You flatter me, Miss Kaya. Oh, I should get back to the truth now. Don't come see me off. Just have at least the last minute thoughts I... You should have any last minute thoughts and joined us, the tongue uh, would be left alone in Sumeru. That happened, I'd find a way to return to, uh, to Liyue, Miss Kaya. I have no doubt in you, but a certain someone might not give you that uh, that chance. Kaya? Bye, Garcia. Goodbye. Aww. Kaya turns and leaves. <laughs> Sir, Miss Kaya is well is well away from here by now. Lothong, you said your instincts are always correct. Do you think we'll meet Miss Kaya in the future again? Of course, but considering her talent in the performing arts, I believe we might need to pay to see her performance next time. <laughs> That's a valid point indeed. Let's refocus ourselves in our studies, shall we? Or probably... Uh... Be caught short of financially for tickets by then. Here's your payment, Traveler. Thank you very much for not leaving uh, our side throughout all of this. Please take the Mora. I hope your studies go well. Much appreciated. I hope so too. But then, um, do you happen to have some Mora on you? I'd need to play Miss Ankar. Please excuse us for, for now, Traveler. By the way, my intuition tells me that we uh, will have abundant opportunities to work together in the future. Oh, we're gonna see them in. The Sire Grown is. A, a, oh my god. Go, Vaidingar, though. Why do I have a feeling that we're going to run into these uh, these guys in. Um, in Fontaine after uh, the server resets? No, I actually am not. Oh, I know. How do you get there? Oh. oh, it was good to see Nahida for a second there. <laughs> Alright, one more reputation quest. I have a bunch of them and I still haven't completed. Will I ever complete them? <coughs> Who knows at this point? Hmm. My nose got unplugged. Oh well, I believe this should be my time to make my move um, let me my face there and i'll just put some background here 
Um, all right, so I'll be off. Uh, thank you all of you for joining me. We finally finished the side questing in Sri Lanka. So next time when I'm around, um, probably maybe on Friday, probably on Friday, um, I'm just gonna do the theater for both Dingardo and myself. As well as maybe some more exploration because I haven't really gone around and done some exploration. Um, otherwise, yeah, we're pretty much done with everything. So thank you again for joining me. Mm. I shall give you guys some good night kisses. Mm. And I shall see you again very soon. Probably on Friday. Um, I love you. And have a good night. Alright. Uh, bye.